Salutations, everyone. Here's my first impressions of Korra and Bayonetta, the last two Smash DLC characters we'll ever get. Now, first and foremost, if you are a Marth main, please look away from the screen right now. We have an auto-canceling fair, and it's amazing. And uh, if you didn't look away from the screen, your nose is now bleeding, and you are now jealous uh, that there is yet another better Fire Emblem character than your main. So, um, with that being said, uh, yeah, an auto-canceling fair. Uh, fantastic. Always a good sign. Neutral air, also very nice. Uh, it's uh, two, two, two uh, like her little dragon arm as well as her sword coming out there. Covers a lot of options. Is a uh, uh, very nice. Uh, you can get some like down throw out of like a short hop neutral air or up throw at a, at really low percents. Um, otherwise, she doesn't really have any combo uh, throw potential. Um, it's just kind of shame. But uh, down throw does uh, eventually uh, kill. So there is that. So let's uh, let's start off with her jab. It's a three hit jab. It's a true combo. Um, does eventually kill, and has a pretty uh, pretty great get off me move. So uh, that's really nice. Uh, your uh, main spacing is going to be with your forward tilt and down tilt. Down tilt doesn't go to the ground like most swordsmen do, um, but it's pretty decent um, as far as range goes. But really good when you see what it does. Pops your opponent into the air. You can go down tilt into up tilt, and what that's what you want your opponent in the air because up air is amazing. Um, it feels like they accidentally made up air insane, um, because it's just so good. It's so good. It'll kill at, like, 120 with zero rage. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, hit this Captain Falcon right up here. Nah, he's gonna DI away, you little bastard. Boom. That was 130, uh, no rage, and it kills sooner than that. And Captain Falcon ain't exactly the lightest guy in the world. So, yeah, up air is insane. It's, uh, it's pretty fast. Um, not a ton of landing lag, and is, is quite safe. So good so, um, that up smash is useless, um, because up smash, kind of slow, kind of punishable, there's no reason to use up smash. If, if you could take up smash out of your controller, that's what you should do with Corrin, because up air is always a better, or up tilt, you know, depending on, you know, where your opponent is, because up tilt can get him into an up air, which is, uh, absolutely, uh, fantastic. So, so yeah, that is a uh, pretty cool. Down air does spike. Um, it, it'll basically drag your opponent down. It's definitely not super strong, and uh, is is not something you're, you're going to recover from uh, very easily. You can, uh, I think you can jump out of it. Let's see here. Yeah, you can jump out of it and then up special, but by then it's already too late. So you won't be able to to game and watch edge guard spike people. Um, you can do that with Bayonetta, however. Um, but uh, if you're going for the spike, it's a, it's a, it just just treat it as a as a suicide pact because that's basically what's going to happen. You will drag down your opponent. Captain Falcon 8 um, working with me now, but uh, it will absolutely drag down your opponent. Otherwise, it's a pretty big hitbox, relatively safe on shield, uh, you know, comparative to other things. Here's her dash attack, not so safe on shield, um, but uh, it, it's relatively uh, quick to come out, so maybe, you know, back throw into dash attack. Otherwise, dash attack does, really doesn't have, like, a lot of use. Um, it's, like, it's not super fast, you know, it, it's pretty punishable. Uh, and she just she just has better moves, but it, it'll have its uses. So neutral special is a paralyzer, and it's like zero suits except it's better in every single way. Sure, you don't have a tether, so you won't be able to paralyze and then you know get a grab almost all the time. See, there we go, and boom, stage spike off the up special. Um, but it's uh, it's it's still pretty good. Speaking of up special, uh, up special is a kill move. I didn't see that coming. I don't know if anyone did. Um, and it's actually really, really good, especially since your uh, since your juggle game is so strong. See that you know if they air dodge uh, the up air, uh, then up special will get the job done. That'll kill at uh, like double jump height at like 110. It's really strong. So Corn has absolutely no trouble killing whatsoever. She can kill with all of her aerials. Uh, back air auto spaces. Um, as you can see, it'll help with your horizontal recovery because it has a wind box there along with it. And it's also uh, very strong. So let's see. 
here with Captain Falcon. What's up, buddy? And bam. So as you can see, yeah, that does eventually kill and it auto spaces for you. So it's a it's pretty darn safe as well. Um up special, not the great for vertical recovery. As you can see right there, you're not gonna get much out of it. Uh, horizontally though, it does carry with it a lot of momentum. So uh, along with your back air, you will be able to get a lot of horizontal movements out of that up special because of the momentum uh, carries with it uh, very, very nicely. Uh, as I mentioned with her throws, she doesn't have much for combos and frame traps. Down throw does kill eventually, as you can see here. Um, her pummel isn't fantastic. You're probably only going to want to get one pummel in there. Maybe two, you know, really high percents. Otherwise, as you can see, um, granted, I don't have any rage because it's training mode, but Captain Falcon wasn't dying at, like, 170. But um, it, d it will eventually kill, so keep that in mind if you're, you know, both in, you know, the 130, 140 range. So, so the Paralyzer uh, has two different ways uh, of being amazing. Um, it's, uh, it's really big projectile, it doesn't take much long to charge. Um, it will kill opponents offstage at like 130. It'll, it will just straight up kill right after the paralyzation is done and it knocks them at that vertical or horizontal diagonal knockback. So that will kill and it also kills with the chompy chomp. Bam sauce. So the chompy chomp will always happen no matter what percentage you are at. So, you know if your opponent might not be in stun that long like say for other paralyzing moves you will still get the hitbox and you will kill with it uh, at high uh, percents so two different ways of killing there and it also paralyzes so you might be able to get a grab or you know a dash attack or at the very least it will send them diagonally upwards which is where you want your opponent because then you can hit him with up airs and up specials and that's just amazing Another different special attack that can kill in different ways is the side B. So the side B is very interesting. If you just hit it once grounded, you do this nice little hop. That might be good for some mix-ups or mind games. Um, hit it a second time, it, uh, it extends out your nice little dragon arm and you put on the, the dragon helmet. So you can kill with just the, the extended part of the first hit of neutral B. Um, you can also pin your opponent in place, as you saw in the trailer, and uh, with that, you can go, when you have pinned, you can move either direction. You can go forward, or you can go uh, the other direction. So, nice little mix-ups. Um, it'll also poke your opponent if they're charging for an up smash or projectile and you're trying to return off stage. Uh, you can nice little safe return. You can also pin the side of the stage and that, that, that way you can get your kick and as well as a jump out of it afterwards. So a lot of utility out of that side B. Two different ways of killing. Uh, also good for, for mix-ups in a number of different ways and as well as uh, getting to the ledge. So uh, the down special is a counter and it is a good counter at that. While uh, someone like you know Martha, Ike, or Roy may have great at catching certain recoveries that have a hitbox such as Roy's to where you know Roy goes out for the up special, you jump off counter, that hits him with enough horizontal knockback that, that he might die because he doesn't have very good recovery. That might be one of the strong suits of normal counters, but Corin's counter does vertical knockback, which is will net you with more kills, especially with platform stages, especially if you are vertical or if your opponent um, or if your opponent is in the air or if you're in the air and you get him with a counter um, because of the vertical knockback is just so incredibly strong. And even if you don't kill with it, they're in the air, which is, once again, where you want them, because then you can hit them with up airs and up specials, and it is absolutely fantastic. So, Corrin has so many different ways of killings, and that's not even mentioning her smash attacks, which all kill. Um, her forward smash is, is insane, as you can see the range. It has a tipper mechanic, so it will do more damage at the tip than at the base, as you can see right here. Uncharged, untip, 12%. Uncharged, tipped... 16%. So as you can see, that's a pretty, pretty big difference. Uh, as I mentioned, up smash, I mean, you can use it, but up air and up tilt are always going to be better options for you. Uh, down smash, a uh, nice little Wii Fit-esque uh, hit on both sides. So that can cover rolls. Um, the sword doesn't have a tip, but the back leg kick of your 
you know, your dragon-esque character. Does tip, 14% uncharged. Uh, I think it's, uh, what is it, uncharged? 9%? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So 19, 9% to uh, 14% at the tip. Pretty crazy. So uh, keep in mind the, the tipper of, of both the forward smash and the down smash. Otherwise, you know, the sword will just poke them. Um, so yeah, you can kill with all of your aerials. You can kill with all of your smash attacks. You can kill with all of your special attacks. And you have a projectile. And you have range. And an auto-canceling fair. And a throw that eventually kills. But no combo throws. Not great vertical recovery. Otherwise, corn has got it all, man. He, she, whatever, dragon, whatever you want to call it. Or her, or him. It's got it all. It, really solid character. Um, not going to get much off of grabs. Not going to kill off of gr uh, throws uh, very easily. But up air kills like a heavy opponent at like 120 at like not even double jump height. And up special kills. And the tipper on the forward smash, you can also angle it. That'll cover the entire ledge. It's insane. As you can see, also, if your opponent is next to you and you uh, charge the forward smash uh that will do damage and uh combo but uh, combo into uh the rest of that forward smash and most of the time you will get the uh, the full monty out of it so yeah corin absolutely solid character i like uh i like the barefoot waifu uh quite a lot a lot going for her um and uh, not that difficult to learn either so definitely if you were thinking about you know man i wish there was a really great swordsman with an auto canceling fair and has a projectile and is also part dragon uh corn's got you covered man she he is amazing